Hi friends, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles and um, I'm making more fall crafts today and thought I would share a couple of ideas. So um, I am upcycling, recycling, whatever you want to call it, um, paper towel rolls and toilet paper rolls. So um, if you don't want to use those um, I items, you could also use like some chipboard um, or any any other kind of sturdy paper like from a cereal box or um, a cracker box something like that right but I have a lot of these and thought well I'm gonna use them so um, there's lots of craft projects out there and this is probably one of the most basic ones where you flatten it um, and turn it into a pocket right um, I then sort of made a little scrappy collage on the front and put um, cards inside, journaling cards. This one I even stitched up and sewed the bottom just to give it a little bit different take. So that's super easy. You just take it and you flatten it and you're, and then you, um, I wrapped mine, I covered them with paper. So that was that, was that idea. And then this one I cut the um, roll down the middle or you know and so that it could flatten out and um I actually wrapped it I really liked the method I used to wrap it so I may show you how I did that and then did a collage on the front with a little pocket here and I envision this it's really nice and sturdy I envision using this um adding it to a pocket in a journal and then um even using it like then when I have a piece of paper let me grab a piece of paper that I want to write on. I could use it to bear down on. It's just really nice and sturdy. So I don't know, a couple of ideas. You could also put a uh, neutral paper here, like a coffee dyed paper, and then use it for journaling space. But I just think they turned out really cute. The pumpkins and the fuzzy cuts are from a My Porch Prints kit, and I'll link that for you in the description. But then I'm just using... Um, scraps of paper and things from other kits. I've, um, if you guys watched my, uh, video about making a ephemera storage binder, I've just been grabbing other pieces and tags, um, from these two that I made. I'm actually using them, so I'm having a super fun time. And in fact, I did a video recently too, where I used, um, a green add-on ephemera kit, uh, from Pink Monarch Prints, and then these are the pieces that I cut out but I haven't used yet, and I didn't have anything on these pages. This one still has quite a bit of space in it, so I was able to add those there, and that was just really easy. When I was done crafting, I just tucked them in there. So we're gonna use some little bits and pieces as well as we go today. So anyway, fun things, and if you haven't watched that video, you might want to, it'll be um, a good time. All right, so there's so many, you know, different ways to do this, but to flatten it, you know, I um, had somebody tell me they struggled with that because, you know, it's so used to being rolled. So I'm just picking a place and I'm cutting carefully, but what I did afterwards is I laid it on my trimmer because it's, I obviously just cut that at an angle and I um, straightened the edge. So I don't know what this is called, but I, I call it kind of like breaking the fibers of this chipboard that the um, roll is made out of. And so just start bending it quite a bit and um, so that hopefully we can have a nice flat piece without having it to spend days um, under some heavy books to flatten it out, which is an option too. You could do that. I've also heard of people um, dampening them just a little bit and um, then drawing them and that the, the, that helps and maybe again laying them under books. I'm going to just glue that little seam down so that it doesn't pop up and get in my way. So again, any kind of, I'm just trying to show you how to use ideas we all have laying around the house um, that maybe would never get used and just end up being thrown away or recycled. 
Um, it, and if you need chipboard, there's so many places, again, just in things that we purchase and consume, I think, that we have. Junk mail, magazines, you know, just whatever. Um, the back, if you buy scrapbook paper pads, you know, the, the back of those are really good to use, too. But that's all I did was, um, and it's already pretty flat. And then once we start wrapping it and covering it with paper, it is going to be fabulous. So now I said I was only going to use things I had already printed or that, um, let's see. Yeah, this will work. That, um, or is in my scrap bin. So that's what I'm doing. Um, okay. The way I wrapped this is, um, the first thing to do is I want a piece of book page again, or you could do neutral um, paper. And in fact, I have an idea now. So I think I want to use the the piece with the flower. It, it it can still be fall. We'll we'll still decorate it up to be a nice fall um, craft. So my roll my flat piece ended up being five inches by four and a half inches so the piece that I'm going to cover it with is six inches by six inches that's what it ended up being if you want measurements but I noticed this is a nice neutral so instead of doing book page on the other side I'm going to just glue this down now this piece can be close to the size or it can even, you could even have a border like this because we're gonna be wrapping this piece around it. So if you have a smaller scrap or a smaller piece of book page, that will work. But this piece is the right size, so I am gonna glue it down. So you don't have to worry about the edges, you don't need to worry about inking all of this. Um, the edges of this piece are gonna get covered up when we wrap it with the other piece, all right? And again, all these layers on here really um, end up making this a nice sturdy piece. So easy. Okay, now on this side, because um, I'm going to be wrapping it the, um, I, I do want to go ahead and ink these edges because I like that look and then we can ink all the way around after we've wrapped it. Okay. So just get those edges inked and then there's no directionality there. So it doesn't matter. We're going to lay it back down on the piece and we're gonna glue this piece down. So again, I'm just using um, wet white glue. This is the Line Co brand PVA glue that I tend to craft with most of the time. Um, you could use two-sided tape. You could, you know, even for this, this part, even a glue stick would work because then if you use better adhesive or really good adhesive, um, when you wrap it, it would be okay. But I'm just using the wet white glue. And if you're interested in any of the supplies I'm using, um, they're in my um, most of the things I have are in my Amazon storefront. Not everything do I get on Amazon. But if you wanna check it out or get some ideas for crafting supplies, um, please do so. I am, um, it is an affiliate link. There's an Amazon associate, I guess they call it, their program. Um, I do get a few pennies if you end up making a purchase. It's at no cost to you, though. All right. They make us say that. So I hope you don't get tired of it. All right. Now, I am going to miter these corners. And I like using this little, this little tool. It is not necessary, but it just makes my life so much easier. It just cuts the corners off so quick and easy. And I know it's not too close um, to the corner. Now, if you don't have one of these... Just take your scissors and eyeball it. Um, and that's quick and easy too, but sometimes I get a little too close or get a little too far away. So anyway, um, I like to take my bone folder and run it right along the edges here. It's like scoring it to make it fold easier. This is a 90 pound cardstock weight paper. If yours is thinner or like 
copy paper weight, you wouldn't need to do this, okay? And then we are going to fold the edges around and then glue them down. And I'm gonna show you if, I have other videos that I've used this wrapping technique for some other things, but I'll show you how to make a nice neat corner too. So the first thing we're gonna do is add glue to one, one edge. And I do like to just really make sure it's stuck down nicely before I start messing with it too much. All right, we're gonna work on this flap next. So this is where I just, I call it, I just nudge that corner over. If you guys can see that, just kind of make it fold up and look messy. <laughs> because then when we fold it over, see how nice and neat, we don't get that weird, that, that happening. If you don't nudge the corner, okay? So it, it, it is not a um, technical term. <laughs> That's what I call it, and I saw someone do it years ago, and I don't remember who, but it's, it's a technique that's out there, and I definitely try to tell you guys about it. Okay, cute, right? And then, again, I'm going to nudge the corner, double check that it looks good before I add my glue. We'll do all four sides. This last one... We'll have to nudge both corners before we fold over and then check them. So, um, oh. it is finally starting to even feel like fall here in Virginia. We're still having days where it's getting into the high 80s, but the mornings have been um, cool and crisp. And I think this week we're going to get a lot of rain again. Um, but definitely you can tell the season is seasons are changing here, um, which, and I do love fall. I have lived a lot of my life in Florida and, you know, love to visit. And my husband and I daydream about retiring to Florida someday because he does not like the cold at all. Um, but I sure do love fall. Maybe we can just go go on vacation in the fall and visit places <laughs> if we end up in Florida because you certainly don't get all the seasons but you get the beach and the warm weather all right so there that's it and of course that's just a really nice sturdy card now um and it does have this pink flower and my whole theme today was going to be doing these fall crafts so let's see what we can do to maybe um make this look a little fallish with a pink flower. I don't know. This is what happens sometimes when you decide to just scrap or craft with your scraps. Um, and I did cut some of these fussy cuts. It's one of their kind of add-on kits with some fussy cuts. Maybe a blue pumpkin will look pretty with a pink flower. What do you guys think? Here's a darker blue one. I don't know. I think I kind of like that light blue one. All right. And I'm going to, even though these are like little rectangle cards, I'm going to fussy cut this pumpkin and the little flower out because I think it'll look good on my card. And um, we'll do that. And again, if you're interested in some of the digital paper kits that I tend to use and go to, I... They're not all of my favorites are on there, but I do have a favorite like little list on Etsy where you can go and see what are some of my favorite paper kits. And definitely that'll show you also some of the shops that I like to shop at um, if you want to check that out. That's in the description too. And whenever you guys click on my links in my videos or on my link tree, it actually helps my business, even if you don't make a purchase, because it just, I guess, tells the companies and stuff that people like my content and it's interesting. So if you have time and you want to um, do some window shopping, uh, please, please do. Click on my links and do that. That would be really awesome. Okay, this one I added a piece of lace. I'm trying to think, like I said, how am I going to, without covering up all of the flowers, um, turn this into fall? Let's see. Would it be weird to add some orange, an orange stripe? I still have some of these polka dot pieces. 
this is like I said, this is what happens when you make you have a plan and then you go off script. Ooh, okay. I am going to just tear us a strip of this polka dot paper. Not quite sure where I'm going with this yet, but we will see. And I think I want to I don't want to wrap it too much. Maybe we'll just do a finger tear. Get it a little bit more narrow. Have a finger tear. And a finger tear here. Let's add some ink. So do you guys like to paper collage? I, I find it's kind of my go-to when I'm decorating and making things. Um, so you have to let me know if you guys like to paper collage too. Um, I feel like when I watch other people um, and how they collage, it actually helps me continue to refine what, what I like to do, um, which is fun. Huh. Okay. I'm not going to worry too much about turning this into a super duper fall themed thing. I'm going to go with it. Let's pick out... Um, some kind of word or label or something and I'm gonna say pink and pink flowers and blue pumpkins can be fall that is what I'm deciding today so I love getting to look through this now I see things that I haven't seen in a long time like here's some more um, this is also a pink monarch or not a pink I'm sorry my porch prints um, kit and I like from one of their kits um Look at all these little ladies. Don't they look happy? I want some kind of label. I'm just gonna randomly pick something. I'm gonna pick that label. And I think I did a page. Yeah, here are some words. Don't know what they say, but we'll pick something. Here's something. It says dreamy. I don't know if we're gonna use it, but we have a couple options now. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Or do we want that one? We'll do that. And we'll see if I can make dreamy work too. So again, this is just um, an easy way to take something that would end up in the garbage and turn it into something pretty. And also, you know, I, I actually buy packages of chipboard um, because of how much I need when I'm making, you know, a lot of my journals, but I love being able to, um, not add things to our garbage. <laughs> we make a lot of garbage in our family, it seems like. And, um, so sometimes it just takes a couple of minutes again to prep, to prep it, but doesn't that look great? Um, haven't put a piece of lace on this one, but I could, but I'm going to leave it at that. I like that. And I think it's fun and funky. Okay, so now let me just show you how I flattened these because I have another idea. I'm not going to make another regular old pocket, but I'm going to show you another idea and talk you through what I did. So I just take my bone folder and very aggressively <laughs> flatten, 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 flatten. And I have also run these through like my Big Shot um, die cut machine without a die in it, obviously, but to flatten um, and to get the edges really nice and crisp. So that's an option for you too. If you have a die cut machine, you can also do this and set it under a bunch of heavy stuff for a while. Um, all those things work. Now for these, just so you know, I wanna show you what I did. I took a piece of paper and I have a different idea. Well, we can wrap it. I'm gonna use it differently, but we'll wrap it. I just took a piece of paper that is the height of the toilet paper roll. This one's four and a half inches. And I wrap, I just wrapped it just like this. And um, this is a little longer than what I need. So I'm gonna toss it on my trimmer and chop it off. And now we will have a nice wrapped toilet paper roll when we glue it all together, okay? 
So again, you could use whatever adhesive you want. Um, tape, two-sided tape. I'm not sure glue stick would be strong enough. I feel like the wet white glue is as long as you give it time to really get happy where it is. Um, you know, really take the time to burnish it and let it adhere to that cardboard. Cardboard is interesting. I think it really absorbs liquid and glue, so you just really have to give it that time. All right, and then I'm gonna glue each of the flaps down. And that's what I did for these, is I wrapped them, and they can be a standalone item or they could be glued down, this one I wrapped with book page, um, glued down onto a journal page. Um, if you haven't already, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, tell me what you're thinking about, tell me if you like these ideas, if you're gonna make some, um, if you have scraps you wanna use up to have some pretty things for your junk journals. I know a lot of people talk about junk journaling, you know, kind of in that pure sense, like, but you're not using junk. <laughs> well, sometimes I do. Here, here is uh, me showing you that sometimes I definitely use what most people would consider trash or junk, right? Trash to treasure. Okay. And you just kind of keep working it and it ends up being pretty flat. Now my idea for this, okay, so then I sewed the bottom of this one and left the top open so we have that nice pocket. This one, I used a piece of two-sided tape and just some wet white glue and just really closed that bottom up good, all right? My idea for this one was going to be to um, add fabric paper and make it like the, the, the base or the back for like a scrappy pad. Um, and I just thought it would really be a good idea or a good use um, of a toilet paper roll. So let me grab a pile of scraps. And again, I know I made, I've made these before. Oh, that's Christmas paper. I think I'm not quite ready to add Christmas paper to the one I covered um, with pink, with orange polka dots. Okay, I'm gonna not look, I'm gonna just grab. And we'll see, whoa, what we got. <laughs> oh, I just um, dropped a whole bunch of stuff on the floor. Okay. I don't know. Obviously, I made a little a little tab there and it ended up in my scrap bin. I'm not quite sure how, but it did. Okay, so this is going to be the base, and even if the pieces are wider than um, my base, that's okay. We will make do. Some gingham, and if they're skinny, that works as well. This is a great big, huge piece of paper. I don't really know why it's in the scrap bin. Okay, some ledger paper, book page, and I don't know. This looks, oh, this is from my um, floor, one of my floral paper kits, but it's got the pretty oranges in there. Um, oh, it's one of my one page wonders that I didn't finish. I need to decorate that. We don't want to tear it up. And one that I cut some tabs out of, but I think these will work well. All right, I don't need too, too many pages, but I am gonna um, use some of the embroidery floss and we are gonna sew it together. And I didn't grab any fabric. I think we have enough without any, I was thinking, well, maybe a little piece. Let me grab a little piece from my pile. Um, just because it'll be fun. Here, this is the piece um, that came in that big box of craft supplies that I bought on Facebook Marketplace. And I've done one video so far showing you guys what was in there. Um, and I am guessing I'll probably do another. Okay, there's a piece, there's a piece. All right, so 
Again, when you make scrappy pads, and I've got to decide if I want to leave it open so we also have a tuck spot or, or not. I haven't really given this a lot of thought yet. Um, sometimes I pay a lot of attention to how I lay the papers. Sometimes I just start putting them on, you know, or laying them down because it's kind of fun then to flip through and find different things. And I might have too many for what I want to do, but we'll see. I like having lots. It makes me happy. I'm having some different lengths. And, yeah, I kind of want that to not be quite so wide because I want to sort of allude to the layers that are under here. So we'll do that. I don't think I want that big black piece on top. Maybe like that. And then we'll decide how to decorate the top here in a minute. And this is a piece from the piece we were just working on. So maybe we'll put that in there too. Okay, that is going to be my pieces. I like them. This is going to be pretty chunky, but that's fun too. And then, yeah, I think I will leave it open so that we can have a scrap pad with a pocket, a tuck spot. So the easy thing to do, of course, is to grab a stapler and staple it, and then we decide how we want to adhere it to our base. But I'm going to not do it the easy way because I just think it'll be fun to, um, to sew it. So we're gonna try that. We're gonna just put a couple of stitches in it. I am gonna make a little topper and I'm gonna tear it so it's not quite as chunky and I'm going to ink it. So sometimes I just need some projects like this where I just start using up some scraps and um, go to town, just go to town. Okay, so this is super thick. So I am going to get out my crocodile and I am going to punch using the smaller hole. Oh, that's the big one. All right, the smaller hole. I am going to punch all the way through all the layers, um, two holes. My vision, before I got so ambitious, let's do three holes, was that, I'm really having to push hard, y'all, was that I was just going to do kind of some regular stitching through here, but it won't, it would be way too hard on my hands. So instead, we need to really hold this together and not lose it um, while I'm getting my needle ready. Instead, we'll just pick a fun piece of floss and um, we will sew it easy. We'll do an easy stitch through it. So I'm not sure how long, how long I need the piece to be. Oh, this already has a piece of floss on it. Ah, we'll see if this is long enough. We'll just use this color green. Okay. I'm going to take the paper clip off and hold it carefully. And I'm going to start at the back. I've not thought through this. We're going to just play together and see if it works. Go in and out. I'm going to go back through. See, isn't that cute? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, and it was plenty long. And I'm going to tie it on the back. Hopefully, I have holes through all of the little pieces of paper. We'll find out, won't we, if they start sliding out. Um, we'll tie this together and then stick it on there. Let's see. I'm going to do one more knot, and I think we're good. Okay, leave it up. 
a little and we'll see what happens. Some little strings. Cute, right? And then I'm gonna leave those out. I don't know why, I just am. Just they made me happy. Okay, to stick it on, I think we definitely need to go um, as strong as we can. So that means to me that I'm going to put a piece of this two-sided tape on here. And I'm going to put another piece that even touches the last paper a little bit. And we'll come down a little bit with our glue onto the paper as well. If you don't have two-sided tape, I would just, um, if it were me, I would glue the tab and the whole last page down just to be safe. Okay, glue on top. And I'm going to bring the glue down a little bit too. All right. Oops. I'm going to tuck those in. I said I was going to leave them out, but I'm going to just tuck them in. Okay, now this is where we really, 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 really need to let this sit. Um, and I would even, I'm going to grab a binder clip and do that until that glue dries some. Very cute. Now the top is open. Let's close up the bottom. Um, I'm not gonna take the time to sew, but what I did was I poked for this one six holes with my paper piercer. I just laid my ruler down and this is like right at seven centimeters. So I did them a centimeter apart and did six and then stitched the bottom up and it was just kind of fun. But for this project, I think what I'm gonna do is um, stick a piece of tape in there along the bottom and then some glue. And I don't want to take up too much of the space, so I'm using this kind of narrow one that I put on Crooked, <laughs> but it'll work. And peel it up, and then I'm just going to add a little bit of glue right along the bottom. Can you guys see that? And again, um, this will benefit, in my opinion, from some nice ink. <laughs> I'll ink all the way around. Um, and we could put a binder clip on this end too. I'm gonna use the one I was just using because I think this is on very nicely now. And now we have this little cute scrappy pad and we can add tags, um, journaling cards, things like that inside. Oh, I think it's fun. Okay, so very simple, fun, upcycling ideas using some of my favorite papers um, and paper scraps. Let's see. Um, now this one I didn't necessarily decorate, but we could on that front page if we wanted to, we could add one of these fussy cuts. Oh, and by the way, on these fussy cuts, if you decide to, to look at this kit, I printed this page or a few of the pages at, um, I'm just going to glue a little bit in the corner and stop. Um, I printed it at 75%. So these um, are smaller than they would print out um, if you just printed the kit as it comes. Okay, so there's that. Oh, I think it's fun. I like it. I hope you guys do too. Let me know. Leave me a comment. And until I see you guys next time, I hope you have a great day. Thanks, guys.